Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, thanks again for tuning into the Zim Geek channel. Today, it's another lesson in cartooning. Today, we're going to be cartooning Pikachu. <laughs> Hang on, this ought to be a lot of fun. And don't forget our rules of cartooning. All you need is paper and pencil and a good eraser. Make sure you draw a light because we're going to be using that eraser. And most importantly, don't get frustrated. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Glad you're sticking with us. Today we're going to be drawing Pikachu. Cute little yellow Pikachu. And to do that, we need to keep it cute. Really cute. And remember, he's only he's a short little character, so he's only about three heads tall. We are going to start about a third of the way down on the paper. And I'm using a 45% black. We are going to start with a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And if you notice, it's slightly off-center from the middle of the paper. I'm using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper here. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And about the size of that circle, you're gonna wanna make the head about the same size, or the body the same size as the head. And it's gonna come down and it's gonna curve right here at the bottom. His legs are almost, his body and his legs are almost like a potato sack. Just a couple of curves down here, each, each one representing a leg. We can throw in a foot a couple of curved lines. Not very big. Draw it too big, he's going to start looking like a penguin. And remember, even my, my line there is a little off. I'm going to go through and erase that. Remember, not everything you lay down is ever going to be 100%. That's why we start with a pencil piece of paper. Even if you're using uh, Photoshop, you can still go in gray and uh, erase what you don't need. Inside that head, we're going to draw uh, a set of guidelines just like we did when we were drawing a regular human face, only this character's head's going to be tilted just a little bit to the side. So those lines are going to be just off center, just a little bit. There's still going to be a nice smooth line here. You don't have to draw that line, and you still got a line going right down to the bottom to his middle. Nice and round. Inside that circle, or outside that circle, we're going to draw a set of cheeks, and that's going to start right here at that center line. It's going to curve out and go all the way down to the bottom of that circle. Doesn't have to touch. Can be really quick. And now we're going to erase the bottom part of the head, because it will just add to our confusion. Just like that. Now that we've got the cheeks in, we can add the arms. We're going to put one arm up. And he's got cute little arms. His arms, again, about the same size as the original head that you drew. Both arms are out. They come out to a curve here at the end. Not a point, but a curve. And they are wider at the body than they are at the end. Just a little bit. At the end of those arms, we're going to add some fingers. And he's got little, small, cute, pointed fingers though. Not quite claws. Don't make them too big or they're going to look like claws. One, two, three, four fingers and a thumb. And that thumb line we can bring out just a little bit to act as kind of a, a palm line. Over here on the side, the other arm, or the, yep, yeah, the other arm. Another bump here for the thumb and, whoops, that was big. Let's go through and erase that down. That's a little, little big, too big going to go through and just make cute little pointed fingers and again not all of those are consistent not everything you draw is always going to be a hundred percent three and four okay now we can go through and compare look at that these these fingers here are a little bigger than those fingers those are the cool fingers those are the fingers we want so I'm going to erase it again and try for a third time. Key here is not to be frustrated. You are going to get it. It just takes a little bit of practice. It's all hand-eye coordination, just like running a video game. Nice and smaller fingers. Not too pointed on the, on the claws. And we're going to go through and we're going to erase the pencil lines where the fingers hit the arm. Just get rid of them. There is his hand. Getting rid of just a little bit of that sketchiness. We're going to erase where the arm hits the body on this side. And we're going to erase just a little bit less 
on this side. And I've got a stray line that's come out here. I tend to draw pretty sketchy when I pencil. Everything gets uh, everything gets filled out in the inking stage. Gets smoothed out, I should say. Gonna erase a little bit more just to get it out of the way. Just to get it out of the way. Now for his head, the bottom part of his head, we're just gonna leave a little bit of that bottom. Not a lot, but enough to show that those cheeks are in front of the arms. All right, for toes, he's got three toes, which are two curved lines. Usually on each side of that point, we'll go through and reemphasize those feet now that we like what we've seen. Look at that, his hands are up. Now for his nose. He's got a very small nose. It almost looks like a triangle, right just barely below that center line. And it's not very big. Not very big at all. We're still going to keep those guidelines working, though. Because the eyes, and it's really important to get his eyes right. It's very easy at this point to get frustrated. If it doesn't look exactly right, I'm just erasing some of the sketchiness here just to get it out of the way. Just right at that line halfway between your center line and the side of his head he needs a circle that sits right on that line about halfway that's about right as smooth as you can get as circular as you can get don't try to overthink it all these cartoons are meant to be simple and simply drawn. See, all these guys used to have to draw all of this stuff by hand. Nowadays they just use a computer and a couple of models. But everything still starts in like a pencil or sketch stage until they get it all down. There's his eyes. There's a little white reflection in that eye. I'm going to thicken my pen point up a little bit and fill in that eye. You want him looking at you. So instead of looking up, he looks like he's looking up there. Everything's all in that reflection. Again, this character is made to be very simple, very quickly drawn, very easily drawn, and everything ties into uh, simplicity. And again, he still looks like he's looking up. So I'm going to move that circle down just a little bit more so that it looks like he's looking straight out. Now he's looking more at you. There we are little bit more touch up there now for the mouth and that's why we kept that center line still going that mouth starts below right below the nose and there's two sections to the top lip and it doesn't go quite out to the center of that eye not quite his upper lip it's got two bumps and that first bump looks a lot better than that second bump so I'm gonna erase that and I'm gonna do it again and again, the key here is not to be frustrated. Don't let it aggravate you. You will get it. The more you do, the better you get. The better you get, the easier it becomes. And that mouth. I'm going to bring that mouth all the way down and right back up. And again, it's thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. I'm going to finish off his smile just a little bit. I still want to stay away from dead center on those eyes. Don't want to make his mouth too big. Everything about this character is cute. Cute and small. Under exaggeration. Uh, is really a key to cartooning under an over exaggeration. We're going to add the tongue. That's a curved line. We're going to fill in the back part of the mouth. No big detail, no big line on the tongue. In fact, we're going to erase that guideline now. We can get rid of the whole set of guidelines now because we've got all those features in. That's important. Thin out that nose just a little bit. Everything with Pikachu is cute, cute, cute. Now, of course, we can't finish off that face without adding those cheeks, those puffy pink cheeks. And they are circles. They're going to be wrapped around the head just a little bit. And again, that adds to the dimension look of his face. Now, when we go in to add the eyes, the eyes are 
right at the top, not eyes, I'm sorry, the ears, right at the top of the head and over just a little bit. And that's why we started down about a third of a page. So we're going to do one ear. It's going to come up. And again, the ears are about the same size as the head. In fact, that ear is just a little large. So I'm going to go through and wipe that out just a little. You can always use your fingers to measure it. Comes in handy with these characters, these deceptively simple characters. It's important to stay as consistent as possible. The second ear is going to start up and again over just a little bit. It's going to come out. Now this ear goes out to the side that way in order to counterbalance this tail that's coming. You know what kind of tail uh, Pikachu has. He's got a little bit of decoration here on the top of the top of his ear. Then again, that's a curved line. You can go through and fill that in. Or not. It's your cartoon. Your choice. I'm going to fill it in so you get a good look at it. I'm using a slightly thicker solid line. The gray I'm using is 45. On the CMYK, it's on the K side, 45. Just to give it that pencil look. And with outside of the lines, just a little bit, going to thin that right down. Just with a little smooth move right there. Hey, look at that. Looks like Pikachu, of course. A little bit more touch up here. We can go through in the lines that we like. We can solidify a little better. It's got that potato, potato sack look. He's got that potato sack look. Whoops mean to erase there. Now for this arm, the whole arm is pretty much into the body. This arm, you're going to see a little overlap just to show he's got some dimension. We're going to push one of those arms back just a little bit. And for his ears, the same thing. This ear, we're going to save just a little bit to show that the ear is poked back a little bit. And on this ear, we're actually going to bring this ear slightly in front of the head. Not by much. We're going to erase the top of the head that the ear is in front of. There we go. Look at that. Now for his fantastic lightning bolt tail. Most of it is, uh, well, not most of it, but it's going to start behind him. So really you're just going to see a little poke out here, maybe right up under the arm. Keep it as straight as you possibly can. Comes up. Just a little and out. His tail is very easy to get frustrated by. Think of a lightning bolt. It gets a little bigger every time. Every stage. Comes out just a little more. It's going to come up. And it's going to tuck behind his hand here. Still needs to come out just a little bit more. We go right outside there and over. Let me try that line again. It's going to come up just a little. It's going to come down. It's going to come right across. And look at that. It's Pikachu. We can go through and emphasize those lines a little bit. Have fun with them. We can even add a little bit of shadow dimension if we want. Right there in the back of his tail, not a lot, not not real pointed, maybe here, a little bit here in the bottom. Nice thin line, and of course, a little bit of shadow right under his lip. How's that? Look at that. Looks like Pikachu to me. How about you? Hope you had fun. And that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed this quick lesson in cartooning. Be back with me next time as we talk some comics, comic news. My next video is going to be about the Flint Comics newspaper. And then the video after that, we're going to be covering another cartoon character that's real easy to draw. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications because you never know when a new video from me is coming out. I don't know, so I don't know how you would know. All right, until next time, take care. And thanks a lot for being here.